Doug here. I want to show you how we can compress an Excel spreadsheet into a smaller number of columns by combining the columns. There are other ways of doing this, but we're going to sort of do it by hand. So we start off with a worksheet, a personal budget worksheet that has monthly entries. So there's a column for each month in the worksheet. What I want to do, say, is put it into a report or something that it won't fit with this large format. And what I want to do is create a smaller format like this with bi-monthly estimates. So January and February are combined, March and April are combined, etc. Everything else I want to remain the same in terms of the formatting and I want to make sure that the numbers are correctly calculated. So what I have to do in the original worksheet is create some new columns that are the sum of the columns ahead. And I'm going to do that here with March. Click the D at the top of the March column. Keep your arrow inside the D and right click to click insert and you'll see it inserts a blank column. Now I'm going to set the header for that column to be Jan slash Feb, and I'm going to set the first cell to be, this, to be the sum of B4 plus C4, and I can do that by clicking in the cell and typing equal sign B4 plus C4. You could use a sum as well, but in this case, it's just as easy to type them. Hit Enter, and you see that the correct number shows up in the cell. Now, to fill in the other cells in the column, I'm going to click the first cell, move down to the right lower corner to get a plus sign, and then drag all the way down the column. And you see it fills in corresponding values for each row in the spreadsheet. Now, you would think that I could just delete columns B and C, but watch what happens when I try to do that. B, shift-click C, right-click and click Delete. Oh, notice that my new values all of a sudden change to ref errors. Likewise for the total. So I can't just do that. Instead, what I have to do is copy the values here and then paste them back in to the same column as values. Right now they are references. They are references to these two columns and cells. So I'm going to highlight and shift drag down to the bottom just the data. Right click, click copy. Notice it's crawling with the little ants around it. Now I'm going to paste by right-clicking and notice under the paste options that there are different values. I'm going to pick the second one which says paste the values. The numbers don't seem to have changed, but in fact we've turned references into actual numbers. And now if I go back and click B, shift-click C, right-click, click delete, and they can be deleted. Now I'm going to pause here. I'm going to do this across the board for March and April, May and June, and so forth. And I'll get right back to you. Okay, I left November and December to give you a short review of how to combine the columns. So I type, I click the I column for the total, right click and click Insert, and it creates an empty column. I'm going to insert a header for that, N-O-B-D-E-C. And now I'm going to set the first cell equal to G4 plus H4. Equal sign, G4 plus H4. Enter. And now I'm going to click that cell and drag all the way down to fill in the remaining values. Now it's all highlighted, so I'm going to right-click, click Copy, 
And now I'm going to paste values back in place. Now I can delete G and H, and everything will stay correct. Now you'll notice that there are some little error corners showing up in the total values. And if I click the first cell in the total values, you can see that it's set to sum of B4 through F4. What it should be is B4 through G4. So I'm going to change that up here. Hit Enter. And now you notice the little error uh, corner goes away. But I have to repeat this for the entire column. OK, and the numbers change accordingly. So these are the correct numbers for these data. OK, now I need to go through and insert some column headers in the middle of the table. So I copy Jan Feb, click here, and paste in there. I'll do that for the rest of the columns and get back. OK, I've copied all the column headers in place. But now notice that we have to do a little cleanup on the format. Uh, I'm going to click the row 7 and right click and click Clear Contents. I'll do the same thing for row 18. Right click, Clear Contents. And that clears out those. Now notice that the total columns have double underlining. And we need to repeat that all the way across. There's a couple of ways to do this. The way that I'm going to use is simply to use the Format Painter. So if I click, if I right click the total box here, click the little paintbrush, and then click, shift click to the end of the row, you can see that it, if I take off the, replaced all of the cells with numbers and a double blue line format. Now the numbers here don't have the correct accounting format, but what I wanted to do was copy the double line format to the row. So I'll do that down here. Click the cell, right click, paintbrush. Now shift click to the end of the row and Sure enough, there's double underline in that row. I can do that also for net. Right click, paintbrush, shift click, and you can see that it painted the color of the column as well as changing the values to be white. Now I'm going to do that for each of the colored rows, and I'll get back to you. OK, I've correctly colored all of the rows in the spreadsheet, but it really messed up my number formats. Some of them have dollar signs. Some of them have dashes and zeros. What I'm going to do is click the first cell and then shift click to the bottom right corner and click the dollar sign in the accounting format thing up here. And that changes it all back to accounting. Now, if you go back to what we're trying to do, you can see that there are dollar signs in the top and total rows, but everything else in between does not have dollar signs. So let's go back in here, and for this row, I'm going to click the accounting number format, more accounting formats, and change the symbol to none. Click OK, and now that looks the way it's supposed to. Likewise, I'll do the same here. Highlight everything in between. Accounting, dollar sign format, more accounting, symbol, none. OK, and that fixes that. So it looks like now everything in the worksheet is in the correct format. 
So the last couple of things that I'm going to do is change monthly to bi-monthly. Now I'm going to go ahead and recreate the 3D pie chart for the data. Click Expenses, and then Shift-click down to Miscellaneous. Now Control-click over to Total, and Shift-click down to the bottom of the total row. So we've highlighted these two row columns. Now I'm going to insert charts, 3D pie chart. And one with the pie chart selected, I'm going to pick the same formatting that was used on the original. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the original, 27, 17, etc. I can put this in its own page by right-clicking and clicking Move Chart, and I'll call it bi-monthly budget uh, expenses, and I'll spell monthly correctly, and that has put it into its own uh, page. So if we compare that with the original, you can see they look identical. So that's how you do this assignment. Um, if you want to just save the spreadsheet, turn it into Blackboard, I think you'll find it kind of interesting.